There were also individual matters raised by Dr. Barry Lander, Ms. Rita, excuse me, Ms. Rita Mazavaleski, as well as Mr. Boyd Fraser in relation to his own matter and that of Mr. Dunlop, Mr. John Dunlop. And I'll briefly update you on each of those. First, we have worked closely with Dr. Barry Lander and his family following last year's AGM. We have resolved this matter uh, to Dr. Lander and uh, everyone's satisfaction. In relation to the matter raised by Ms. Rita Mazvaleski, with the information provided to us, we conducted a thorough internal investigation which found no evidence of any wrongdoing by Perpetual. A full assessment report was provided to her and was also independently reviewed by a head of client advocacy. We invited Ms. Mazvaleski to proceed to a mediation process if she was not satisfied, but this has not uh, progressed further. And finally, in relation to matters raised by Mr. Boyd Fraser, we are continuing to work closely with these individuals and where relevant their families to work towards a resolution. COVID-19 has impacted the progress of these matters due to travel restrictions and social distancing requirements. However, we're committed to finalising these matters and uh, have recommended a formal mediation process with an independent retired judge as a way forward. And just to add, to further strengthen how we manage uh, client matters or complaints, this year we created a client advocacy team to provide a dedicated avenue for ensuring complaints are investigated and resolved fairly. And that position reports to the Chief Risk Officer, um, and, but our Head of Client Advocacy operates independently of the business and works directly with clients to investigate and resolve issues. So that completes the update on the matters that uh, and the, uh, that, are, that, are, that arose at last year's uh, AGM.